What's up? What's up? What's up? What's good, everybody? It's your girl, Isis Love. And I'm just sitting here grooving right now in my backyard, um, waiting for the stars to come out. But uh, I wanted to just really just say hey to everybody, see how everybody's doing. You know, I really only do it live when I am sparked to do a live. So know that, you know, there's no coincidence that you're watching this video right now. Know that, you know, this message definitely had to get out to you. So thank you everyone for joining in. What's going on, Vicky? What's going on, Buki? What's up? What's up? So know that if you're tuning in right now, that is not by coincidence that you're tuning in to this message today, okay? All right, so this message goes out to my ladies, to my sisters, to my goddesses, to my empresses. This goes out to you, and it also goes out to <clears throat> everyone all at the same time. So before we get started, everyone, um, I'm going to give it some time for everybody to get on here. So if you want, go ahead and share this video, you guys. I'm about to drop it down tonight. What's going on, lovely? Go ahead and share this video. <clears throat> if you're watching this on a replay, you know, if you're watching this live, let me know that you're watching this live and let me know where you're watching from. What's going on, Dante? All the way back from 71st Lewis Chapel. What's going on? Um, if you're watching this on a replay, you know, go ahead and hit replay and um, let me know where you're uh, tuning in from. So, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and dive into it. You know what I mean? So, we're going to speak a little bit about feminine energy. So, some of you guys may be new to my channel, new to my lives, new to even what feminine energy is. And so, feminine energy doesn't have a gender. Feminine energy doesn't have a gender. Feminine energy doesn't have a gender. Masculine energy doesn't have a gender. What's going on, ladies? That's what I'm talking about. Come in. Come in. Y'all don't want to miss this. So, um, so you know, th that energy doesn't have a gender. But let me tell you. The right now we're operating so much into a patriarchal society that we're not relying on our intuition. We're not relying on our intuition. We're not relying on our instincts. We're not relying on our gut feelings anymore. We have forgot who we are and the powers that we possess. See, when you think about the feminine energy, it's about receptivity. It's about letting go and letting God, right? When you think about the feminine energy, it's a, it's a receptive type of energy. It receives information, right? But when you're operating in your feminine energy, which has no gender, male and female, because male and female is just an illusion. And we can really go down the line with that, you know? But right now, we're just going to speak about, you know, the masculine and feminine energy not having a gender. So, you know, there's a lot of different qualities and qualifications, you know, that classify what, you know, divine feminine energy is. But in its essence, it's, it's knowing. It's knowing. And so right now in life, you know, a lot of people always ask me, you know, Isis, how are you able to know when the opportunity is good? Like, how are you able to know this? And um, it definitely takes time to just be able to let go and let God and know. Know things. Don't, you know, don't fear them because you are already know. You're letting go and you're letting God. You're being receptive. You're receiving. You know, you're receiving. So, you know... It doesn't have a gender, right? And so another, you know, another, uh, you know, trait, quote unquote, for the divine feminine energy is to just be able to be in your heart center, really just receive in your heart center, you know, being emotion, ta being tapped in, you know, being when you're tapped into the flow, the divine flow that just keeps flowing. When you're tapped into that, then you already know. You don't have anything to fear. You know who you are and you know what you came here for, right? So when we think about that masculine energy, it's what's going on in this world right now. It's about doing, doing, doing. I got to do. I got to be there. I got to do it. I got to do it. I got to see it. Straightforward. Bow, bow, bow. 
You see that difference in that energy? The divine feminine energy is like flowy. The masculine energy is like bow. <laughs> so it's always doing that, right? And so we can't be too much of the other. And right now, this planet is unbalanced. Right now, the woman, the physical woman, the physical essence of the divine feminine energy is being suppressed. And so right now, in this now moment, you know, the divine feminine energy is awakening back on this planet. Because that's the only way we're going to restore this planet is when the divine feminine energy takes back over you know because the patriarchal energy is about dick measuring i'm just gonna be dead up you know and you can agree to agree i'm not here to do a debate you're right but it's about dick measuring and it's about power and it's about control and it's about you know domination and so as you can tell the planet hasn't been going through a good time as we've been in this patriarchal society i mean you know we're still in this old paradigm of thinking that you know the labels it's the labels you know it's the labels it's the labels of thinking because you're a wife a quote-unquote wife or a woman you're supposed to do this you're supposed to do this for me you're supposed to do this you're supposed to be submissive but what that's doing is the whole planet the planet itself is divine feminine right so we have to balance that energy and bring that energy up and not physically harm it we have people out there beating women you know, literally beating women, you know. But it also, you know, it's not just they do this, they do that. It's also about us ladies coming together and harnessing that goddess energy within. It's about tapping into your own temple, your own holy temple, because we're freaking holy. And it's about loving yourself, because when you love yourself fully, ladies, then you're going to attract other type of energies that's going to love you in the same way. See, our body is sacred, ladies. And so we're going to get to the financial part, but I got to break it all the way down, right? So our bodies are sacred. And so before anybody even enters our sacred body, we got to love our bodies more respectfully and not just let any, an old, any old person just come up into our energy, ladies. We're sacred. And we're going to call ourselves goddesses and empresses and all these different labels, right? You got to own it. You got to walk it like you talk it. So you got to sit down with people and find out what their goals are. Like before they even come in your energy, what are their goals? What do they want to do in five years? What do they see themselves in a year? Because if they, didn't, if they ain't got that together, why are they even in your energy field? Right? So we have to go back and reevaluate first to love ourselves so that we're also able to restore this divine feminine energy on this planet because it's being suppressed right now. I mean, really just look around. When you look at these music videos, you always see women on cars or on the shoulders of other people. It's like prized possessions a little bit, you know? And so it's just the roles. It's just the roles that we play, right? It's just the roles that we play. That's all. Just roles, right? And so um, the moment we let go of the rules, ladies, and the moment we really start loving ourselves and really, you know, paying attention to who is coming into our cipher, who are we allowing to lay up with, start acknowledging that power within you're going to start to be able to be receptive and then you're going to be able to also use that energy that divine creative primal energy to be able to bring in abundance and finances because you are abundance and you are finances you know as i always say before money is just positive energy right and so um being in that receptivity, that goddess energy, being in that receptive energy and harnessing it and aligning it with that masculine energy, you're basically having sex with yourself. And that 
creation of that sex you're having with yourself from the masculine and the feminine is helping you manifest what you want in this 3D reality. I hope that made sense. Because right now it's just flowing through me. So this message is only for people who are stopping by and really getting this right now. A lot of people, it might flow, flow through their heads because we've been so programmed. As women, we've been so programmed to think that it's wrong or to think that we have to be docile. I mean, look at the way we treat the planet, for example. Let's take it off of gender. Let's take it off of bodies, right? Think about how we treat this planet, right? Some people, we throw stuff on the trash, on the ground. We're using plastic bottles. We keep slaughtering animals left to right, eating them. You know what I'm saying? Polluting the water and stuff. Like, we are damaging mother already. And it always goes back to the womb. Think about it. Everybody is always trying to get back to the pussy. Really, really think about it. Right? The mother is the first thing you come in contact with when you are born. The first thing that doctor is plopping the baby right on the mother. Right? So that's that. Your mother is your first contact. You grew inside of her, right? And you, she has nursed you with her breasts, and you have came out of her womb. And if you look at it, quote-unquote men, physical vessels, are always trying to get back to the pussy, right? It's always back to the pussy. Most fruits, it's like a, 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 a pussy. Look at the way a peach, when you open that peach up, when you open a cantaloupe up, when you open that orange up, and it's juicy, and it's wet, and you open it up that papaya. It's always about the pussy, right? And so, it's really just about getting, if you look off the physical layer, it's really about just getting back to that divine feminine energy, that nurturing energy. Men. You definitely need to get back in your divine feminine energy because you guys, I feel like, holds a lot of emotions inside because you feel like if you are a man, you can't cry or you feel like you have to uphold this position because you're a man and you have to supply for the family. It's like these roles we take on that you don't really get to have an emotional outlet. Or somebody to talk to or vent to. Because you don't want to be seen as weak, right? You are too much in that masculine type of energy that you have to be open, be able to open up and release how you're feeling without any type of judgment. See, the moment we get out of these labels of man, of man and woman, the moment we shed those labels of man and woman, is the moment we can truly get to ourselves. Because men should be able to vent. They should be able to cry. They should be able to, if they see another one of their brothers crying uh, because they upset because they lost their family or they just having a bad day, they should be able to give each other a hug without some 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 shit that, that somebody came up with saying that if two men hug, that's gay. Like, where did that even come from? Now, I really want y'all to expand y'all mind on this. Like, I really want you to really listen to what I'm saying, right? And I'm going to bring it back into the divine feminine energy. It's all tying in, right? Why can't you vent out men and then have a quote-unquote home, homeboy or somebody that you see as a brother, you know, if you're having a bad day, what is the problem with reaching out and giving that brother a hug some people are so quote-unquote what you would call homophobic that the moment they try to reach out to show some type of emotion we have emotions like we're here to feel the emotions that's why we're here on this planet that don't mean you got to let the emotions rule you but you should be able to still vent out without some illusionary thing saying that you're weak or you're gay i mean just really think about it though you know what I'm saying? Like, just really, really think about it. And so part of harnessing in that divine feminine energy is coming into alignment with your, your, your emotions, getting that out, releasing that, you know, saying how you're feeling without being judged or criticized. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's all at the end of the day about really tapping into this divine feminine energy, ladies, 
Um, and why do I say divine, you know, feminine financial empowerment right now is because that nurturing energy has to be has to come in and we have to start viewing money more as a um a gift as a tool we have to nurture it it's a plant we have to grow it so we can't be patriarchal with money anymore so when i speak it to my ladies i'm saying ladies it's time for us to get in formation right it's time for us to get in formation information in formation to be able to expand the way we view money so that we're able to pass this to our children that's what we do we are like bees or like the queen bee the ant we birth civilization and so it's up to us to be able to harness our divine feminine energy and align it with that masculine energy so that we're able to manifest what we want in this reality. And so that we're able to expand our financial literacy on how we even view money and how, how we view our, our money mindset because it's a mindset. We have to go back down to, you know, um, ancestral lines we have to go back to childhood trauma around money so we have to do it in a real nurturing type of way we can't do it in a penetrative type of way you know it can't be penetrative it has to be nurturing think about it we have had so much penetrative around this world so many so much violence so much hate so much judgment they're wrong because they like that they're wrong because they don't have the new shoes they're poor because of this and that you guys we make this shit up you know we we make this up so the more we can continue to live in our hearts and let go and let god is the moment that we're able to come into alignment with our feminine energy and our masculine energy. And then we're able, ladies, to really just tap into this financial system. There used to be a time and point before the recession came where women were in the stock market. Women was in the forex market. Women was in the financial market. And then when after the reception and everybody came back from the war and the men start taking the jobs back, it's like we just fell back. And we got to get back to a point. And when we, as this divine feminine energy emerges, it has to be in a nurturing way because history always repeats itself. Before men even came on the scene and before we even created them, when we created them, we treated them like slaves. Until they rose above. And now here we are. So as we rise again. Because history repeats itself. We have to come back in a nurturing way. And know that there's no judgment. Know that facts are facts. You know no judgment. We're here now. You know. But just knowing. You know where the divine goddess stands. And the power in the woman. Without woman. There will be no civilization. Well a lot of people say. Well you need sperm. Well, technically you don't. You may need sperm right now in this now moment until we tap into our true powers. But before there was man and woman, there was one being. A hermaphrodite type of being. It wasn't until we split off to be able to reproduce. So, you know, that's a different line, a different day. But I'm not going to make this video long. I just really wanted to come in and just channel that energy through. And just let you know that, you know, ladies, it's time to get information. Know that you are going to be backed by the divine goddess. You know, just know that that energy is going to be with you um, throughout this journey. Um, men, it's time for you to tap into your, your wombs because, you know, you have a womb too. It's just inside out. <laughs> and we can go uh, days on you know with that as well so you know thank you very much for tuning in and joining um i hope this made sense i know i kind of went all over the place but you didn't you know step upon this video for no coincidence dink so um i love each and every one of you guys i'm about to hop on this 4x team call baby so peace love and abundant light